available so that we can start our session. So this is a very, very important session for our upcoming IFT exam and in fact for other exams like ZAT, CMAT and all. So here I'll be uh, discussing about questions uh, related with international groupings, international famous summits, awards and prizes. So uh, let's uh, start without wasting our time. So let's uh, start with the questions. I'll be giving you questions. You have to answer it if you know the answer. If you do not know it, then I'll be answering it. Okay. So this is the first question in front of you, which says, where did the G20 summit 2022 happen? And these are your options. G20 summit 2022 happened where? Ottawa, Canada, Berlin, Germany, New Delhi, India, Bali, Indonesia. What is the right answer to this question? And everyone keep on pressing the like button also. Yes, uh, Pavan Kumar from uh, YouTube, Harshika and Swagnik from app is right. So the right answer is education world, Tapan, Faith, you all are right. Uh, Bali, Indonesia is the right answer to this question. Satyansh Kumar, you all are right. Krishna from app. So <clears throat> this year, I think in November this happened. Huh, nah? So it's hardly one or two months back. In November 2022, the G20 summit happened in Bali, Indonesia. So let me show you where exactly it is. So here is India. Uh, this one is actually, if you see it carefully, uh, let me remove myself. So this is Indonesia. Now this one, this one is Indonesia. And here you will find a place called as Bali. Okay. Yes. So this is a Bali island and it is a very famous tourist destination also. Now, one more thing you should be knowing it that the current capital of Indonesia is Jakarta, but now it is moved to Nusantara. So here is the new capital. So the Indonesia is planning to have its new capital called as Nusantara. So just have an idea about it. Okay. So they're planning it. So D is the right answer to question number one. Many people are right actually. So D is the right answer. Yes, Satyansh, KS, Debi, Amit, Mayank, you all are right. Uh, the next one is... What was the theme of G20 Summit 2022 that happened in Bali, Indonesia? And these are your options. Read the questions carefully and then answer it. G20 Summit 2022, Bali, Indonesia, the theme is written. Theme, you can say sometimes it is written motto also. Both are same thing. So what is the right answer to this question, everyone? Yes, uh, the right answer to this question actually is yes, education world, Satyansh Kumar, Karishma, Vadwani. Yes, Harshika, Amrita, Krishna from app, Mayank, Sani, you all are right. Shrish, Karishma, Vadwani, Satyansh, Devi Prasad, Mishra, Mayank, Sani, Shrish, you all are right. So the right answer is recover together, recover stronger is the right answer to this question. So C is the right answer. Okay, Devi Prasad, Mishra, Mike, Sani, you all are right. You can see this is G20 2022 summit, uh, date 15, 6, uh, 16 November 2022. Recover together, recover stronger is the theme. Actually, this is in their own original language. But if you translate it, this is in English, recover together, recover stronger. So you can remember like this recovery from COVID. This is the recover karna, hai na? recovering from uh, the, from COVID from you can say from economic point of view as well as health point of view. Hai na? Yes, C is the right answer to this question. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Which of the following is not the member of G20, although its president participated in the recent summit via video conferencing? Your options are Ukraine, Russia, Canada, China. In Charo Mesa Kohn, G20 summit ka part nahi hai. Halaki uske president ne is bar Bali summit me. Bali summit 2022 me. Via video conferencing participate kia. What is the right answer? To this question. Everyone, please press the like button also. Subko like button press kodo on YouTube. Everyone, guys, yes. Yes, the right answer to this question is Ukraine. Very good. Education World, Tapan, Seth, Karishma, Pavan, Kumar, uh, from App, Kozi, Palil, Swaganik, you all are right. So Ukraine is not a part of G20, but still it, uh, its president actually, Vladimir Zelensky, participated in video con through video conferencing. These three are part of G20. Okay, so these are the G20 nations. So these are actually 19 nations, entire 19 nations plus European Union. So together is called as G20. So I hope you are aware European Union has 27 members and all. Okay. 
So just have an idea about it. China is a part of G20. Do not say yes, here it is. In fact, Indian Prime Minister met Chinese President in G20 Bali. I hope you remember that. So the right answer is A is the right answer. Not pooch rahe? Okay. Yes. Uh, the next one is, uh, the next question is, who was the host of G20 Summit 2022? That happened in Bali, Indonesia. Your options are Anwar Ibrahim, Joko Widodo, Fumio Kishida, Mahathir Muhammad. Host matlab hota mezban. So host means actually host leader you can say I am asking. Host country is Indonesia. Host leader. Who was the person or the leader who was hosting it? Ah. What is the right answer to this question? I am waiting for the correct answer. I haven't got the right answer either from YouTube or app. Yes, Karishma Vadwani has answered it correctly. Om Kene is right. Yes, uh, the right answer is B. Joko Widodo. He is the president of Indonesia, right? So the one who is the president of the hosting country would be the host leader, right? So he is uh, actually the president of Indonesia and he was the actually host of G20 summit this year. G20 summit this year, okay? Just have an idea about it. Yes. So B is the right answer. Yes. Harshika, Amrita, KJ, Jadev, Ankita, Nag Ankita Nagra, you are right. The next is G20 Summit 2023 is going to happen in which country? And these are your options. I'm asking about next year. So next year G20 Summit is going to happen in which place? Kaha hone ja hai? Russia mein? US mein? Canada mein? Ya India mein? Yes, very good. Swagne, Krishna from app, then Tapan, Seed, KJ, Education World, Pavan, Kumar, Sai, Pradeep, Samir, Reddy. The right answer is D. India is the right answer. Uh, Man, Manspreet, Om, Kene, Raj, Krishna, you all are right. Alauddin, Haq. Yes, so it is going to happen in India. So D is the right answer to this question. And in fact, in December, from 1st December this year, India has assumed the, taken the presidency of G20. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Now, uh, before moving on, there's a small announcement. Those who are preparing for CAD 2023, uh, we are providing a 300 plus engaging videos, 135 plus live sessions, 70 plus mocks, 9,500 plus questions, 300 plus engaging videos and all. Okay, so just have an idea about it. And this is last lap to IFT 2023. Uh, we are running a complete revision series at 7 p.m. daily from 10th to 17th December. So do follow us, subscribe to our channel. And, uh, and at 9 p.m. also we are running this course. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow, yes, we'll be coming to these, uh, we'll be coming for these sections, these types of classes. You should be aware of it. Now, since we are talking the next year, G20 summit is going to happen in India, right? Yes, someone is writing New Delhi, Par Pragati, Maidan, right? Education world, huh? So what is the, what is the theme or you can say motto of the next upcoming G20 summit? And these are the options. Satameev Jayati. One earth, one family, one future. One earth is sufficient. Fight terrorism. Kohan sa sahi option is sir. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing only 13 likes. So, sab koi like button press kado, please, guys. Yes. Yes, very good. Harshika, Swagni, Abhinav, Suresh, Amrita, Nidhi, Kozi, Palli, Falguni, Maitreya, you all are right. Satyansh, KS, Kavya, Karishma, Abhishek, Alauddin, Raj Krishna, you all are right. B is the right answer. One earth, one family, one future is the right answer to this question. So B is the right answer. So welcome to India's G20 presidency. Uh, isko Vasudev Kutumbakam bhi kehte hain. So it, this is an English translation, but in Sanskrit, this is the original actually one. Uh, Vasudev Kutumbakam. Okay. And yes, you can see it here. Huh? This one. And the English translation is one earth, one family, one future. And this is the logo of the upcoming G20 summit. And a welcome to India's G20 presidency. Okay, uh, let's move on. Yes, agar aap dekho, if you see it carefully, so here is PM Modi and here is Joko Widodo. So Joko Widodo is actually the president of uh, Jakarta and he is giving actually the passing uh, actually to the presidency to PM Modi. Okay. So just have an idea about this. Okay. Uh, the next one is, uh, where did the 98th Interpol General Assembly happen in 2022? Your options are India, Pakistan, USA, Germany. This year, I think in uh, somewhere around October or November, this summit happened. 
90th Interpol General Assembly happened where? What is the right answer? Yes, uh, it happened in, yes, Om Kene, Satyansh, Om uh, Alauddin, Haq Kavya, Shruti Maurya, Alauddin, Education World, you are right. A is the right answer to this question. Uh, A is the right answer. So it's India. 90th Interpol General Assembly happened in, in 2022 in India. So A is the right answer to this question. Yes, you can see it here. Uh, so 21st October. Hai na? International Police or International Police Organization. The headquarter is in Lyon, France. Hai na? So just have an idea about it. Uh, the next one is uh, we are talking about G7 Summit. So this is a question about G7 Summit. 48th G7 summit happened in June 2022 in Germany, United Kingdom, France, USA. What is the right answer? So 48th G7 summit recently happened in actually Germany. So A is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea about it. Yes, so Germany is the right answer. Yes, Alauddin, Mayank, Devi Prasad, Mishra, Mayank, Saini, you all are right, A is the right answer. Okay, Amit Vikram, Devi, yes. Huh. 48 G7 summit happening in Germany. Yes, Bavarian Alas, Germany. And now the question is, which of the following is not the member of G7? Japan, India, Canada, Italy. Is there no G7 ka member of G7? So these types of questions are asked in IFT, ZAT and all. कि कौन सा G7 मेंबर है कौन सा G20 का मेंबर है नहीं है एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन आल्सो वी आर सीइंग 16 लाइक्स 45 इज वाचिंग सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरीवन यस सो द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली वेरी गुड साई प्रदीप समीर रेड्डी के एस करिश्मा अलाउद्दीन हक ओम के ने वीएस प्रोग्रामर Yes, education world, Ankita, Nakda, Devi Prasad, Misha. India is the right answer to this question. So these are G7 members. Uh, G, these are G7 <coughs> other than European Union. Okay, so please remember India is not a part of G7. However, India is a part of G20. So India G20 ka part hai, but G7 ka isa nahi hai. So just have an idea about it. So B is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one is uh, who was the host leader of the G7 summit 2022? Mario Draghi, Emmanuel Macron, Olaf Scholz, Angela Merkel. What is the right answer? Host leader G7 Summit 2022. What is the right answer, guys? Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is, Deco. G7 summit happened this year where Germany. So the host leader should be from Germany. Mario Draghi is ex-PM of Italy. Emmanuel Macron is the president of France. Olaf Scholz is a chancellor of Germany. And Angela Merkel is ex-chancellor of Germany. Okay. So the right answer is C is the right answer. Yes, Ankit Tripathi, Education World, Mayank Saini, VS Programmer, Devi Prasad Mishra. You all are right. Huh. C is the right answer, and yes, to this question. So, all of us calls the Chancellor of Germany is the right answer to this question. So, C is the right answer. Okay, uh, yes, Krishna, Abhinav, Amrit from App are also right. C is the right answer. Uh, now, you can see it here. So, these were the participant of G7, and uh, Germany was the host. All of us calls is the Chancellor of Germany. So, he was the host. And these were the other leaders. Okay. Now, let's talk about match the following these types of questions are asked in IFT so that is why I'm asking leaders you have to match with the countries whether uh, it's either prime minister or president okay up match karke batao which is the right answer this is a b c d and this is actually one two three four karate one two three four now match it what is the right answer Bataye. 
in one uh, comment write entire one theek hai uh, write all the four answers yes case is right very good kj is also right anyone else yes abhina from app is also right ha huh. मेलानी and vladimir putin is actually russia so the right answer is 4 1 2 3 you must be knowing it these are important ones jo news mein zyada hai unse hum question pooch rahe hain so the right answer is 4 1 2 3 theek hai just have an idea about it. yes devi prasad modit you are right uh the next is then again there's a question a b c d is here and we can write 1 2 3 4 Uh, these are Benjamin Netanyahu, Fumio Kishida, Emmanuel Macron, Anthony Albanese, and here is Japan, France, Australia, Israel. Match the following, match it, and answer me what is the right answer. Sir, कोई like button press कर दो. We are seeing 22 likes, 47 is watching. Everyone, please press the like button on YouTube channel. सब कोई फटाफट. Yes, Sai Pradeep, Sameer Reddy, K J. Rohan Narula is saying Macron France. Ha, huh, take very good Rohan. Saurabh Moharir, Education World, Karishma, Vadwani, Alauddin Haq. Yes, anyone from app? Koi batao app se sahi jawab batao. Yes. Benjamin Netanyahu is going to be the new prime minister of Israel in future. It means he has actually already served past in the past many times. Uh, I think for 14 years. And now he is going he has recently won an election and he will be the Prime Minister very soon of Israel. Fumio Kishida is the current President of Japan. Oh, sorry, Prime Minister of Japan. Okay. Emmanuel Macron is the President of France, and Anthony Anthony Albanese actually recently became the Prime Minister of Australia. Earlier it was Scott Morrison. Now it is Anthony Albanese. So the right answer is four, one, two, three. So again, four, one, two, three is the right answer. Yes, Ankit Tripathi, Mayank, Rajat Sharma, you all are right. ठीक है फोर वन टू थ्री इज द राइट आंसर नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस वन सो दोज हुर इन न्यूज दैट इज वाई आई एम गिविंग दोज वन आई मीन दोज लीडर्स हुर इन न्यूज आई एम गिविंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैम ठीक है वहीं से क्वेश्चन दे रहे हैं ठीक है सो प्लीज रीड इट एंड देन आंसर इट मैच द फॉलोइंग सो हेयर ऑन द राइट साइड देर आर टू टाइम टू टाइम श्रीलंका इज रिटर्न इट मीन देर आर टू पीपल ऑन द लेफ्ट विच आर फ्रॉम श्रीलंका Two leaders, huh? What is the right answer? Two four are same. Yes, huh? Yes, very good. Sai Pratap, Samir Reddy. Ah, uh, two, four, ah, uh, three, one. Yes, K S K J, Education World. Yes, Utkarsh Yadav, you are right. Ha, huh? ha. Huh, Kar uh, Karishma is also right. Ha. Huh? Dinesh Gunawardena is the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. Okay. Ranil Vikramasinghe is the new President of Sri Lanka. So this we are telling you after actually the. Uh, i hope you are aware a lot of protest happened in sri lanka the prime minister and president had to resign yes so these are the new ones theek okay? hai yar lapid is currently the prime minister of israel theek okay? hai and uh, he will have to resign and the new one will be benjamin netanyahu theek okay? hai so the current prime minister is yar lapid but most likely will have to leave the post for benjamin netanyahu 
then anwar ibrahim recently became the prime minister of malaysia so again you can say two four three uh, one and four or two are same so you can instead of uh, you can write four two three one also both are same okay so just have an idea about it uh, the next one is these leaders were also very much in the news because of some reason or the other so Shinzo Abe, Muhammad bin Zayd Al Nan, Draupadi Murmu, Liz Trust these were actually personalities were in the news these leaders and that is why I am giving you questions Answer it, read it, and then answer it. Yes, Swagani had also answered the previous uh, previous question correctly. Very very good, huh? Yes, Rajat Sharma, KS, Akansha Raj, Karishma, Sai Pradeep, Education World, Mike Sandy. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, Ramsia, Matriya, Abhinav, Krishna from App. Shinzo Abe actually was the ex prime minister of Japan. He was assassinated in July. I hope you are aware of that. He was from Liberal Democratic Party, ex prime minister of Japan. Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nan, actually, he is actually the current UAE president. And before him, actually, in May, uh, his uh, predecessor, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nan, died. So that is why, again, it was in the news. So C is the right answer here. That means you can say one, two, three, four. So three. Then Draupadi Murmu, everyone knows she is the first tribal president of India. So the right answer is two. And before actually Rishi Sunak. So Boris Johnson was the prime minister this year. I think till October. Then Liz Truss became the third female prime minister of England. Then after that Rishi Sunak became the prime minister. I hope you are aware of that. Yes. So the right answer is four, three, then two and then one. Hana. 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Yes. Let's move on further. Which of the following is not the member of SARC? These types of questions they have already asked. IFT, ZAD, yes, I have asked you. Look. Is me say, kone, dekho, not likha hua. So whenever I am underlining for you, but in the exam, whenever the question is given, read it carefully whether not is written or not. Okay? Because not actually changes the fate of, your, of you if you are not reading it carefully. If you not read it, then you will be wrong with one Yes, uh, Saar ka member koon nahi hai? This question was earlier asked. Yes, uh, Saurab Maharir, VS Programmer, Utkash Yadav, Ankita Nagda, Krish Jaiswal. Yes. And uh, Abhinav from App is also right. So China is not a part of Saar. Okay, so Saar is actually eight member grouping of South Asia. So let me show you. So, uh, this is Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and here is Maldives. Anna. So, these eight members. Okay. So, eight tick I have put. Three, 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 eight, anna. So, these eight are actually members of SARC. So, China is not a member of it, of course. Okay. So, South Asian Association, it is explicitly written. South Asian. So, it's... China is not in South Asia. So this region is called as South Asia, right? Anna. So just have an idea about it. Yes. Uh, the next one, uh, the next question is, where is the headquarter of SARC situated? A, B, C, D. What is the right answer? SARC ka headquarter kaha hai? Kathmandu, Nepal, New Delhi, India, Thimpu, Bhutan, Dhaka, Bangladesh. What is the right answer? These are the basic questions asked in exam. Yes. Very good. Education world. Saurabh, Rajat, Om Kirni, PS Program, Arutkash, Shrapal, Kavya. Yes. Anybody from app? Yes. Abhinav, Amrita, Maitri, Sharish, you all are right. Kathmandu, Nepal is the right answer to this question. So Kathmandu is the capital city of Nepal where you find the headquarter of SARC, South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. Now, the next one is BIMSTEC. Where is the headquarter of BIMSTEC? Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Kathmandu, Nepal, New Delhi, India, Thimpu, Bhutan, Dhaka, Bangladesh. What is the right answer? 
एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन वी आर सीइंग 27 लाइक्स 55 इज वाचिंग तो सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो फटाफट Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is D. Ba Dhaka, Bangladesh is the right answer to this question. Yes, Om Kene Utkas, Chris Jaswal, Rajat, Varshu, Maya, Alaudin, Karishma, Swarnel, Ankita. Yes, Abhinav, Amrita, Pramath. So, Dhaka, Bangladesh is the right answer to this question. Okay. The next is, which of the following is not the member of BIMSTEC? Your options are Myanmar, Thailand, Maldives, Sri Lanka. In which se koon BIMSTEC ka member nahi hai? Everyone press the like button also. Sabko like button press karte jao. Share this video with your friends. Not the member of BIMSTEC. Yes, Saurabh Moharre, right. Very good. So the right answer is Abhinav from app is also right. Uh, Sirish Maitri, you all are right. Ram Sia, yes. The right answer is C. Maldives is not a part of BIMSTEC. Thik hai. So these are seven member groupings and so India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Thailand, Sri Lanka, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 members. Okay. So these are the members of BIMSTEC. So C is the right answer to this question. Maldives is not a part of it. You can see it here. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit happened uh, in New Delhi, India, Samarkand, Uzbekistan, Beijing, China, Tashkent, Uzbekistan. What is the right answer to this question? सही जवाब क्या है इसका सही जवाब बताइए This year, Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit happened. Yes, Saurabh Mohare, right? Krish Jaiswal, Education World. Om Kene, yes. Uh, it happened in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Thikhe, it's not Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Tashkent is the capital of Uzbekistan, but SCO summit happened in Samarkand. Yes. Vihang, Pathankar, yes. B is the right answer. Mayank, and you are right. Answer. It happened in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. 16th September, you can see it here. Yes. So just have an idea about it. Now, since we are talking about SCO, let's ask how many members are there in Shanghai Cooperation Organization? 7, 8, 9, 10. कितने मेंबर्स हैं शंघाई कॉपरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस में सो आई होप इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वन यस 8 इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन 3 3 6 2 8 द नाइन्थ वन अप्लाइड इज ईरान एंड दिस वाज आस्क्ड इन लास्ट ईयर आईएसटी एग्जाम आल्सो है ना ये पूछ दिया था 2021 में है ना तो B is the right answer to this question eight members are there Iran has applied but Iran has not become a member Iran ने भी member बना नहीं इट्स इन अ प्रोसेस ठीक है so these are the eight members so just have an idea about it yes Rohan Rohan Narula was right Mayank Sen yes Varsha Varsha was right which of the following is not a part of BRICS Indonesia Brazil Russia China इन में से ब्राज़ील्स का पार्ट या member कौन नहीं है Anyone? Yes, of course, instead of uh, I J India had not Indonesia. So A is the right answer. So this is Brazil, Russia, India, China. South Africa, right? So just have an idea about it. BRICS is, Anna. so A is the right answer to this question. Let's move on. Okay, before moving on, there's a small announcement. So we are having uh, all India open mock for ZAT 2023 from 14 to 23rd December. And in that mock test, video solutions will be provided by expert faculties. Know your strength and weakness. Identify your exam strategy also. Okay, now the next one is BRICS summit happened under the presidentship of China. 
इंडिया रशिया साउथ अफ्रीका वॉट इज द राइट आंसर Yes, the right answer to this question is actually yes. Very good. Srish has answered it from app. Rajak Sharma is also right. Rohan Narula, Ankit Tripathi, VS Program, you are right. China is the right answer. Yes, Ankita Nagra, Om Kenya Education World A is the right answer to this question. A is the right answer. Okay, so this is actually the president of China under the under his chairmanship. Actually, this year's BRIC summit happened. You can see the photos and a 14th BRIC summit. Uh, the next one, yes, you can see it here. And so this was China was the host this year. Uh, the next one is where do we find the headquarter of BRICS? Beijing, Ch China, Shanghai, China, New Delhi, India, Moscow, Russia. Headquarter of BRICS, kaha milega aapko? Sab koi like button press kato, everyone. Please press the like button, guys. Sab koi pada pad. We are seeing 36 likes, 61 is watching. Sab koi like button press kato. Headquarter of BRICS, kaha milega? So you should be answering it. Yes. Rohan Narula is right. Very good. Shanghai, China is the right answer to this question. Yes. Uh, so the right answer is option B. Okay. So you can see the first meeting actually happened in Yekan Taringberg, Russia. Uh, BRICS Tower, Shanghai is the headquarter. Okay. So just have an idea. Earlier it was BRIC. Later on South Africa got added and now it became BRICS. Okay. So bad mein South Africa had worth. So B is the right answer. Yes. Chris Jaiswal, Mayank, Kavya, you all are right. The next is which is also known as the BRICS Bank. In me say BRICS Bank kisko kate hai? New Development Bank, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, Asian Development Bank, none of the above. Sab koi like button press kado, everyone guys. Yes, the right answer is A is the right answer. Saurabh Moharrer is right. A is the right answer to this question. Okay. So, BRICS Bank and New Development Bank are same. Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank is different. Okay. It's are different. Okay. So, the right answer is A. New Development Bank is also called as BRICS Development Bank or short in short called as BRICS Bank. So, just have an idea about it. And it is also headquartered the same place in Shanghai, the same city. You will find the headquarter of New Development Bank also. Okay. A is the right answer. Yes, Saurabh Moharrer is right. Jatin, Prashad, Maitri, Abhinav, Kano. Yes, you all are right. Uh, the next is, uh, yes. This is the question. This type of question was asked last year also in IFT. So that is why I'm asking under which operations Indians were brought back from Russia in 2022 uh, when Russia-Ukraine war actually started. Kone se operation ke la gaya Operation Devi Shakti, Operation Polo, Operation Ganga, Operation Bargadar. What is the right answer? Sahi jawab bataiye. Yes, Bayek Saini, Om Kere, Saurav Moharre, Education World, Krish, Raja Sharma, you are right. Operation Ganga is the right answer. So actually what happened was, ki, I hope you are aware, the Russia invaded Ukraine. So people, Indians went to Poland, then Romania and other nations. And from there actually they were brought back by government. Uh, under because Ukraine में तो plane चल नहीं रही थी है ना under Operation Ganga. Last year जो question पूछे थे वो Operation Devi Shakti पूछे थे so this was related with bringing Indians from Afghanistan when Taliban came to power in August last year. तो ये last year IFT पूछा था हो सकता है इस साल ये पूछ दें Operation Ganga ठीक है so this happened in February this year ठीक है so C is the right answer. Okay yes Om K ने right हाँ Devi Shakti is from Afghanistan Rajesh Sharma right हाँ now let's talk about awards and prizes तो अब हम लोग awards और prizes पर चलते हैं। So let's ask the first question. So Nobel Prize is the favorite of IFT and ZAT, है ना? So which of the following Nobel Prize is given by Norway? इसमें से कौन सा Nobel Prize Norway देती है? Nobel Prize in Economics, Literature, Medicine, Peace. What is the right answer?
Yes, the right answer to this question is Nobel Prize in Peace. Yes, Rohan Narula, Mayank, Mudit, Saurabh, Moharir Education, Ankit, Utkarsh, you are right. Other, all the other Nobel Prize are given by Sweden. Baki Sarat, Sweden, Deity. But Peace Prize is given by Norway. So just have an idea about it. D is the right answer. Harika, Mayur, Shruti, you all are right. Ankita, Harika, yes. Uh, the next is which of the following is not the winner of Nobel Peace Prize 2022? So read the question carefully and then answer it. Ghar se padhi aur iska answer ki jay. In mein se koon winner nahi hai Nobel Peace Prize 2022 ke. Is saal Nobel Peace Prize. So this year it was given to three. Three people, either people or you can say organization. So which of them is not the Nobel Prize winner of 2022? Yes, Rohan Narula, Om Kena, Education World. Shirish from App is also right. Yes, allow the, uh, uh, yes, very good, Rohan Narula. So, Maria Reza actually won Nobel Peace Prize 2021. And these three are actually the winners of Nobel Prize this year. Okay? So, the right answer is D. Not Puchne. Alice Bradsky is from Belarus. He's a human rights activist. Memorial is an organization, human rights organization from Russia. And Center for Civil Liberty is a human rights organization from Ukraine. So all are somehow or the other related with Russia-Ukraine war. Okay, so D is the right answer. So these are Alice Bialetsky, Center for Civil Liberties and Memorial. So these two are organization, human rights organization, and this is a person. So these three actually in Taiti got Nobel Peace Prize this year. So yaad rakhye ka bahut zada important hai. All these three are very, very, very important. So I would suggest to star market. Okay, yes. Uh, the next is whom and the following is the winner of Nobel Prize in Medicine. Medicine mein kisne jeeta hai what? And can anyone tell me for what reason he got this? Kis karan mila hai? Matab kya chis jeetne par? Swante Pabo, Alain Aspect, John F. Clauser, Anton Zellinger. What is the right answer? Batate jaiye ka fata fat waiting for your answers. Nobel Prize in Medicine. Isi ko Nobel Prize in Physiology bhi kehte. Toko it is not Psychology. Nobel Prize in Physiology or Nobel Prize in Medicine are same thing. Okay. It's not Nobel Prize in Psychology. It is Physiology, which is a different thing. Uh. Yes, very good. Uh, Om Gene, K.S. Alauddin, Mayak Saini, Education World, Rajat Sharma, Harshit from App, Alauddin, Haq, Krish, Jess, Wal, you all are right. Swante Pabo from Sweden. And for what reason? Yes, Alauddin, Haq, very good. Krish, Jess, Wal, for Human Evolution. So you can see it is written on the official website of actually... Uh, Nobel Prize and Swante Pabo from Sweden and Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, Stockholm, Sweden. And for discoveries concerning genomes of extinct hominins and human evolution. So human evolution, you can remember, that would be easy for you to remember it. Okay. And he is from Sweden. Okay. Uh, the next one is in front of you. Who among the following is the winner of Nobel Prize in Literature 2022? Let me write. Uh, otherwise, there will be confusion. And these are your options. Alan Aspect, John F. Clauser, Annie Ernox, Anton Zellinger. And you have to tell me that the author belongs to which country? Koon se country se author belong karte hai? Who has got Nobel Prize in Literature? Yes, Om Kene KS, you all are right. Ram Sia from App, yes. Education World, Modit Bansali, Halauddin, Haq, Ankita, Krish, Harike, Prakhar, you all are right. Annie Ernox, from which country she belongs to? Can anyone tell me? Yes, Shruti, Mauri, Ankit, Tripathi, yes. So, uh, you can see it here. Nobel Prize in Literature 2022 from France. Okay. She is actually from France. Right? For the courage and clinical equity with which she uncovers the roots and estrangement and collective resistance of personal memory. So, this is for what she has gone this award. She has got this award. Okay. So, just have an idea about it. C is the right answer. Yes, France. Yes, Alauddin, Om Kene, Modit, Bansali, Kavya, Krish, Jaiswal, you all are right. Uh, the next, let's talk about Oscar Awards. Yes. So, which of the following is the winner of Best Picture in Oscar 2022? So, this can be also written as 94th Academy Awards. Because Academy Awards and Oscar Awards are same thing. Okay. The Power of the Dog, Belfast, Coda, King Richards. Best Film ka Award kisko diya gaya hai? Oscar ya 94th Academy Awards 2022 mein. What is the right answer? Yes. 
Yes, Om Kede Rajas, Rohan Education, Ankita, Modit Bansali, Mayank Sani, Arshit Abhinav Amrit Maitreya from App. Yes, the right answer is Koda, which means Child of Deaf Adults is the name of the film. So, C is the right answer to this question. Okay? Meg Anand, yes, you are right. Koda is the best picture. Okay? Let's move on further to the next one. Which of the following is the winner of Best Actor Award in Oscar? Tom Cruise, Will Smith, Robert Downey Jr., Vin Diesel. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing 70 watching, 41 likes. So, press the like button. Press the everyone. Fata -fata. Yes, the right answer to this question actually is B. Will Smith for which film? Yes, Rohan Narola, right? So for King Richard, the name of the film is King Richard for which he got the Best Actor Award. So B is the right answer, you can see. Yes, Varsha, Shruti, Mayur, you are the right. Matri, Shresh, Swagnik, Riddha from App. So actor in a leading role from for Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith for the film King Richards. So just have an idea about it. Uh, and he was famous, he became famous for slapping Chris Rock in that ceremony. Hai na? Yes, Hassan, right. uh, the next is which of the following uh, film is the winner of Best Actress Award in Oscar 2022? Scarlett Johnson, Angelina Jolly, Jennifer Lawrence, Jessica Chastain. What is the right answer to this question? Best Actress Award 2022 Oscar. Kisko mila hai? Yes, Abhinav, Swagnik, Maitreya, Jaya Prajapati, Om Gene, Devi Prasad, Mishra, Education World, Rajat Sharma. Yes, the right answer is Jessica Chastain. For which film? Koon se film ke liye koi bata sakte hai? So the name of the film is The Eyes of Tammy Faye. So jo niche likha wa film ka naam hai. The Eyes of Tammy Faye is the name of the film for which she won this. So D is the right answer to this question. So just have an idea about it. Yes. Chirag Malhotra, Utkar, Shivala, right. Uh, now, let's talk about a very famous award, which who among the following sportsmen is the winner of Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award of 2022. Let me write complete. Uh, Neera Chopra, Sharat Kamal, Mirabai Chanu, Nikhat Zareen. What is the right answer to this question? Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratan Award 2022 ke winner ka naam batana hai. Neera Chopra, Sharat Kamal, Mirabai Chanu, Nikhat Zareen. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is option B. Sharat Kamal, very good. Mayank Saini, Rohan Narula. Yes, he is from table tennis. Rohan Narula, very good. So, his sports team is, uh, I mean, he belongs to table tennis sports. So, B is the right answer. Yes, Kavya, Sai Pradap, uh, Mayank, Ankita, Rohan Narula, you are right. B is the right answer to this question. So, you can see it here, Sharat Kamal. He was awarded a uh, Khel Ratan Award, India's uh, highest sporting honor in 2022. So just have an idea about this. Okay. It's important. Uh, the next one is who among the following Indian refused to take Raman Max Assay Award 2022. Very, 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 very important. Because if you see the previous year question, they have asked questions from Raman Max Assay. Uh, this year, actually, one of the Indian was also supposed to be given Raman Max Assay Award. But the person actually refused to take this award. What is, who is the person? PM Modi, Shashi Tharoor, Ravish Kumar, KK Shailja. Yes, Prakhar Gupta is right. Please explain the reason why the person refused. Yeah, uh, who is the person? I mean, why is famous? Why is the person is famous for? Yes, Chris Jaiswal, right? Devi Prasad Mishra. You are right. Ram Sia, Kuzi Pallil. D, yes, from app. Yes. KK Shalja, she is ex, she is ex health minister of Kerala. When first lockdown happened, the first wave of COVID, she actually, uh, actually, uh, according to them, they uh, did a wonderful job, and for which she was supposed to be given Raman Maxis Award, but she refused. So there is a reason why she refused. Go and find out. Yes, from Communist Party of India Marxist. Yes, Prakhar Gupta. So she is actually from CPM. 
तो शी रिजेक्टेड मैन मैक्स अवार्ड दिस कैन बी आस्ड ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये पूछा बिल्कुल जा सकता है वेरी हाई चांस दैट दे कैन आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन रैमन मैक्सेस अवार्ड इज गिवन बाय व्हिच कंट्री सो फिलीपींस एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज आल्सो बिकॉज़ रैमन मैक्सेस वाज एक्स प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ फिलीपींस एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एशियन एशियन नोबेल प्राइज है ना एशियन नोबेल प्राइज भी कहते हैं है ना जैसे कि आपको पता होगा फुली ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट so this is all about today's class please subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram facebook download the byju's exam prep app now i'll be meeting you tomorrow at 9 pm with logos and all hai na logos economics subjects and all the questions from economics logos aata hai exam mein hai na ft mein so this is all about today's class uh, thank you everyone thanks for watching have a nice day